Hey guys, welcome back to GTA Magic. Today we're gonna talk about the dark truth behind Dark Viper. Let's head into it. Number 1. Dark Viper AU His original 5th grade Hotmail account was named Game Viper 3 because he was watching the computer wore tennis shoes at the time and one of the characters yelled out, no one messes with the Viper, and he wanted to go for it. Then he added Gamer since Viper and Game Viper were already taken. A few years later, he joined a private World of Warcraft server where he was given the name Bane at random. After a few years, he switched to retail servers and had to pick a new name, so he chose Dark Bane. He later needed to ne create a new Hotmail account and wanted to merge these two names into one that is Dark Viper 88. He found out that 88 is not appropriate for streaming platforms, so he had to change it to AU. Number 2. His Gaming Career Dark Viper AU has been playing video games since he was a child, and he also enjoys playing real-life soccer, cricket, and 10-pin bowling in his spare time. He found Twitch in 2014 while looking for a platform to live stream a Hearthstone tournament. He discovered Ishafu through the stream and followed him so he could watch him later. Then he encountered other streamers and became acquainted with the Twitch community, followed by the speedrunning community. After high school, he worked part-time while gambling for a living. He was living with his mother at the time, and so he didn't consider himself to be doing something dangerous. When he went to the University of Psychology, he wanted to quit gambling because he knew he was addicted to it and that gambling was ruining his life. Number 3. Gaming Professional A few months Months after discovering Twitch, he began streaming Warcraft 3 custom maps gameplay for fun. Over time, he became increasingly intrigued by the possibility of learning aspects of a game so well that he would be able to exploit them and strive to reach the fastest time. And so he started looking for game to speedrun. With Wix, who attempted to speedrun GTA 5 with 80% completion rate and no mission skips, was one of the streamers he would watch frequently. Dark Viper AU had purchased the game prior to this but hadn't yet played it and wanted to give it a try after seeing with Wix. He discovered that he loved it and wanted to make it his speedrunning game of choice. His first attempt, lasting for over 10 hours, he kept trying to smash his record and gradually grew a fanbase. Dark Viper AU has 2,700 followers. According to his Twitch overlay, since he frequently receives over 1,000 viewers, he can receive at least 9,450 US dollars per month before earning additional revenue from other sources such as tired subscriptions, tips, Twitch cheer bit contribution, merchandise sales, advertising and sponsorship. Number 4. Internet Gaming Disorder This form of heavy use has won gaming, the distinction of being a disorder, and a mental health condition. Yet there is a fine line between too much and not enough. According to doctors, merely playing a lot of video games is not quite enough to qualify as a condition. However, the Internet Gaming Disorder is gradually being recognized as a distinct psychiatric entity of all reported addiction disorders. However, it is classified as a tentative disorder by the American Psychiatric Association the new edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of mentions the need for more research. Nearly 50 years after first home video game console, Odyssey was published to the public. The World Health Organization has listed gaming as an official diagnostic body in the most recent revision of the International Classification of Diseases, which had the visible effects on Dark Viper AU. He has spent more than 8 hours playing games each day. Number 5. His Increasing Vision Issue Playing video games has been related to vision issues since the core pupil and iris are not biologically prepared for chronic heavy viewing of visual images from electronic devices. Prolonged and fixed gazing at a video game screen induces eye strain. Surprisingly, some research suggests that gamers have increased spatial attention distribution when compared to non-gamers. Number 6. Does he actually have a gaming disorder? According to the WHO concept, an individual with gaming disorder will display the following symptoms for at least 12 months, which are difficulty regulating their gaming behavior, seeing gaming more relevant than other necessities and everyday activities or jobs and continuing to participate in gaming even after its negative health and social effects have been recognized or are apparent. As Dark Viper has mentioned this many times in his streams, fans are worried about his health. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.